the multi-angle wire work. You're going up and then back. I, I don't know why, but we did, we, we did that. <laughs> That's a, I think, strongness of the Chinese action team. Because sometimes in Japan, they are good too, but sometimes they are too smart. When I say, oh, I need this kind of thing, this kind of thing, I need this kind of thing, right, 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 like this. And then they said, oh, that's impossible. You, I know, I know impossible, but you, you, you try, right? On this point of view, Chinese stunt teams just say, okay, okay, we try. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's impossible. But you, if you try, you can, you, can, you can make something different, but something new and something better, right? When I finished that shot, wow, we are so happy. This is an interview with Kenji Tanigaki. Kenji is a Japanese action designer who got his start in Hong Kong, working with Donnie Yen on films like Shop Ho Long and Flashpoint. He then later on went to Japan and made a huge splash doing the action for the Rurouni Kenshin films. Kenji and I talk at length about Japanese stunt history, the difference between Japanese and Hong Kong action, how he got his start in Hong Kong working with Donnie Yen, the difficulties of working in Japan on action films, and how his action design process has changed over time. This was also the first action talk video that I recorded, so please excuse the lower video quality, although I do come back a few months later to talk to Kenji about his work on Sakura. Can you talk about when you first worked in Hong Kong? But that's very hard. Is uh, of course we have the language language barrier, and then of course culture culture barrier because I've, I've never lived in Hong Kong before, and of course I just I just know uh Doje, Jaegin, uh Neho, that that three or four words, and uh other uh, other 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 words I I don't know I don't understand. So I just guess uh the yeah, idea. Yeah. Uh, this situation and then or oh, this uh, maybe this maybe this but action wise the movement wise uh I can I can adjust their style because uh I have the I had the four year experience in Japan a Japanese action club by Yasaki Kurata so action wise uh because I I I was the youngest stuntman in Hong Kong so yeah I can I can I can do I can do uh many many things and I don't I don't afraid about any any stunts or uh uh punch and kick is a bit is basic basic skills okay but sometimes uh uh they said oh can you do how about who they said say how about who can you do how about who how about who how about who means uh uh back trick back trick bah, this kind of reaction but I don't understand what the how about who is right or oh, how about how about who and then uh, uh stunt coordinator sold Oh, this guy cannot do, cannot do how powerful. That's that skill. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, if you don't, if you, if you can do that. Oh, uh, don't know how to do that. Oh, oh, you. And then, uh, he pointed out other guys. And I, I saw the other guys there. Oh, this, this, this one piece of cake to me, for me. So this kind of things, because I can do that, but because I cannot understand what, what is that. And then I missed a chance to perform that. This, this kind of things is very motivate me to remember all this about how, how, how. next time I I remember this word and then I can do that so so this kind of, this this kind of things is uh motivates me for example uh what what's this in companies what's this in companies I can I can I can I can remember but in companies a lot of hand movement and a lot of verbs for the uh, hand technique in the boxing, like a straight and hook and uppercut. That's all, right? And then uh, maybe Russian hook, right? But in Cantonese, a lot of da, uh, liu, sim, a lot of a lot of verbs. So this kind of thing is even I ask the normal Hong Kong people, they don't know that. So I must I must remember every every technique and every every words i, I kind of told you the idea in our previous call i'm talking about kind of the way that we think about movement the way we think about yeah. action and mm. maybe or maybe not there's a correlation with our language and how we mm. think about I making think a so. sentence i think so it's a very even northern china and south south china have a lot of difference uh we me and Donnie talked about this kind of uh, topics before. 
because you know uh Chinese Wushu is like Chinese Mandarin is like very have have, have some pro right but southern Kung Fu is like Lao Gaolian style it looks like looks like Cantonese is like I think uh, the language and the martial arts at that area have, a, I, I think, very close, yeah, some some connection, I think. Sometimes when we design the action, it's like in Japan, many, many, many times, a lot of times we should, uh, something this is a, you this, you this kind of sound, especially when we use a sword action. Of course, Hong Kong is boom, 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 right? And then in America, it's a bam, 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 bam. It's it's very even even now, even 87, 11, it's, it's still yeah, bam, bam. It's, it, they still emphasize this kind of um, sound. In my mind, it's very typical sound of the each country. And then we can imagine uh what kind of action is going on. This is fascinating because I've read, I'm reading this book right now called Human Speech by Paget. It's from 1930. And the chapter I read this morning, because I was reading in preparation for this, actually. Mm. And he was studying ancient Chinese. And the ancient Chinese vocabulary is more like Cantonese, it seems. It has more sounds, right? Like lap, siu, like just more sounds in general. And yeah, there are more tones, nine, too. Nine different tones, I think. It seems like Mandarin is a simplified version of ancient Chinese, but yes, Cantonese so. Cantonese maintains this old, like a huge ability to have a lot of different sounds. Yes. Maybe, maybe when you're making these hand movements, it's yeah. easier to represent those with sounds in Cantonese than it is in other yeah. languages. I don't know. It's just a theory. But what funny, what funny is we talking about the kick technique. We just say, oh, jump back spinning kick, jump back kick, uh, side kick. From kick, jump from kick. I, I, we, we also talking. Uh, use use English. It means in Chinese kung fu. Within Chinese kung fu, it's very rare to uh kick to to do the kick. Many hand fight and very rare to kick. And then many many times kick doesn't go over the height height of the your hips, right? So so I think yeah, many, yeah. The hot funny we just use it English to to. To use a kick technique, I would like to go back to Japan and hear yes. about your tr your training at you said Japan Action Club and Karate San. Yes, so uh, Japanese Action Club. Uh, at that time, we have two major uh, so called action club action school. One is Japan Action Club by Sony Chiba, and then Karate Action Club by Karate Yasaki. So I can recognize the two differences before before I joined that school because Karate Action School is very emphasized emphasize the uh combination and then uh yeah it's a fight fight technique fight combination mm -hmm. and Japan Action Club is more more acrobatic style of course now I can I can analyze what's the difference but at that time I think oh Karate Action School they are, they are actually more realistic and more closer to the Hong Kong style. That the distance, if two guys, one by one, two guys fight, their distance wise is very close. Yeah, I think that this kind of thing is, I love, I love this kind of feeling. It's, it looks like uh, so called Hong Kong style. And then the Japan action club is more, more like Kabuki. Japanese kabuki or Japanese stage stage fight. It looks like more mechanical, I think. Karate was working in Hong Kong very early on. So yes. do you think that that is the origin of Karate's action school versus the Japan Action Club? I think so, because uh, Karate Sensei told me why he opened up his school is after he uh, came back to Japan and then shoot some action drama series and then uh, the opponent, the stuntman uh, who fight fought, fought with him, and uh, and then they they told Karate san is oh too close, too close, don't punch me, too close, and then he felt oh it's not like Hong Kong, so uh, I must I must make some 
good stuntman for himself to perform what he wants wants to perform. So you would say that the that the style that Karatasan brought back to Japan was not very well received by the stuntmen who are already yes. there. Yes, he feels. Yeah, I'm. I'm not mentioning about the, which is better, which is worse. Uh, but he likes that kind of style. He likes uh fight big uh fight in this distance. Can you talk about the Kabuki style of movement? It's like you know the Power Ranger, right? Power Ranger is more. It's like it's like more a lot of posing, right? So Power Ranger is uh I think mixture of the karate style and kabuki style. So uh for example, do you know the Dumo? Dumo is a like like front quick, but land you use the on use your back. back use a back to land. It's a very typical kabuki kabuki style. Of course, uh maybe maybe Beijing Opera have uh, the same same kind of technique, but in Japan it's very typical kabuki style. Their tempo, their rhythm. And their their way of way of express is very uh like kabuki and karate this kind of stuff. That means not looks real. And sometimes the point, the point where the punches is different. For, uh, for example, in Hong Kong or in Karate, Karate Action School is uh for common sense, for common sense, if here has a head, of course punch a head. Punch ahead and then must avoid, right? But sometimes, uh, is a dancing, is a kabuki, is a, like, like, you know, it's a common sense. I have the mouse and this is coffee. Of course, of course, I drink like that. I drink, I don't drink like that, right? So that's a common sense. Kalata doesn't like this. So he hate when they fight, uh, use a mask. Uh, when we use a mask, usually, usually don't punch here, punch here. Otherwise, otherwise, if they can, they cannot avoid. But you know, of course, when we punch, when when we fight realistically, of course, of course, when we have the head, when we have the face, punch face, yeah, have the leg, yeah, kick the leg. Uh, in my childhood, I I used to, uh, always always watch Jackie Chan movies, Hong Kong movies, Hong Kong Hong Kong action movie. So it's very natural things to me. Do you think then that the Kabuki style also influences? The Japanese chambara samurai films. Yes, I think because many kabuki star uh come into the uh, movie industry to shoot the uh chambara. History wise, I I think it's the same. It's the same as Hong Kong movie Hong Kong movie industry because some Beijing opera Beijing opera actor coming come into the movie industry to shoot a Wong Hui Wong like. But after Bruce Lee changed everything, right? Bruce Lee, of course, his family also is coming from the Beijing Opera family, but he he mixed up, I think. But in Japanese movie history, I think nobody appeared like Bruce Lee, or except except Shintaro Katsu. Katsu Shintaro is a Zakoichi. So when I when I think about Beijing Opera and Beijing and Cantonese Opera going in into films, would you agree that? The samurai films have a touch of realism to them because samurai were not that was not a very old concept because samurai yeah. were still fighting only a hundred years before that. Whereas mm. when you go from Beijing opera to cinema, they're sort of showing a style that's very old. Mm. It's like that's that kind of fighting hasn't happened for a long time. So would you agree that maybe the Chambara style was a little bit more realistic according mm. to history versus the Beijing opera and the the, the Chinese I, martial art movie I style. I think so. I think so. In that history, something happened. For example, Bruce Lee appeared. For example, uh, many young men coming from the Canton opera, Beijing opera, like Jackie Chan's Hammer Home. And then uh, they, what, uh, what interesting is Dong Wai. Dong Wai told me before, at that time, they they don't know how to do the reaction. They don't know how to do, how to do the reaction. But like like it's very typical Beijing opera style. They punches and boom like this, right? At that time, one Hollywood movie coming to came to Hong Kong. That's a Steve McQueen's San Pablo. And then uh, Don Wai told me is an American man told them 
how to do the reaction by the punch. It's like it's like punch and boom, like 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 boom, like this. Not not the, not the jumping. Of course, they they go back to the states, and then Hong Kong some men learn this kind of reaction, and then sometimes oh this kind of reaction, and then how how to do maybe maybe one punch and like this, but maybe kick maybe maybe we can we can spin. So they they are growing up by themselves, and sometimes wire is a wire rigging is obviously that the, in America they are using the wire from the Pasta Ketong era, I think. So, but in Hong Kong, they changed. They changed their way. What did Japanese action teams, Japan Action Club, for example, what did they think of Hong Kong action? And I know Bruce Lee changed things, and Japan was very receptive of Bruce Lee. But what did the traditional stuntmen think of Hong Kong action? In our generation, man, everybody, every every stuntman. So wow, Hong Kong stuntman is very good. Every Hong Kong movie, every year, wow, this time, this time, we are jumping from uh uh the eighth floor. Ah, uh, this time is this kind uh explosion. Wow, this. So I think many uh uh especially eighties uh we are very respect respect their their way because sometimes uh for example Kurata Sensei when he shoot Japanese movie. Uh, the the movement in in his Japanese movie and then the movement in his Hong Kong movie is a, is a totally different tempo wise, rhythm wise, choreograph wise, totally different. It's the same uh, same situation happened uh, like Cynthia Lozak, like Jean Claude Van Damme. It's a different. Uh, Cynthia Lozak is wow, it's very uh, yes, madam. Wow, she's very good. And then after she go went back to the states and I saw some movie, huh? I don't know what's happened. And then I start to think, oh, maybe that the not not actor's problem is a, I think maybe action director or director or DP issue. So I really want to know what kind of way they shot in Hong Kong movie. So that's the our my interest. Did you bring any Japanese influences to Hong Kong action when you went there? I think no influence. I just learned. I just learned their way. But uh, after, after maybe after 20 years, uh, every Hong Kong movie I, I, I got offer or Chinese I got offer. I bring, I will bring some Japanese stunt boys. So maybe our work ethic or our, our work format, like, like, like the previous or uh, some some yeah some way of working. Now some some influence. For example, recently, uh, the movie which I work with Donny is a Chinese period film. I told the costume designer to open up the uh, clothes and then use a jipper and then. I I called them to change, replace the jipper because when we shot that Ruan Kenshin, you know, Japanese movie doesn't have the money and doesn't have the time. Mm -hmm. So we have no time to open up the wire point. So every time open up, open up, uh, use the use use scissor and to open up the wire point, uh, pick point, it uh, takes time. So in the Ruan Kenshin, I we use a jipper here, jipper. So sometimes a big point is here. Oh, jipper, open up the jipper yeah, and then real. put put the, put the shackle and then jipper is, is we can we can shoot that. So this time I told them, oh, maybe we can use this way. Yeah, a lot of American wire work obviously came from Hong Kong as well. In the late nineties, we we adopted a lot of those as well. So but even though very, yeah. coming from the states, coming from America. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you mention talking about McQueen and his stunt guys teaching the Hong Kong guys reactions yes, because yes. you look at, you know, bar fights in the sixties, even the Batman TV show in the sixties, it's cheesy. But when you look at it, the reactions are really good. It's their, yes. their bar fights, you know? So yeah. there, there was a long history of Western stunt guys 
doing yeah, reactions so. and figuring out how to do Western style yeah. fighting. What was it like first working with Donnie Yen? 1995 is Hong Kong TV station. ATV has a drama. It's a remake of The Feast of Fury. They had 30 episodes and almost they finished half. And then uh, is a Dojo Shin. In Dojo Shin, and he beating beat up a lot of Japanese students. And then they almost used the, all of the Hong Kong star men. And then uh, they, they can recognize the face. Oh, do you have the new guys? You guys coming? Oh, we have Jap some some Japanese guy just come uh, come, uh just just join the Hong Kong Star Man Association. Oh uh uh yeah, call him, call him to come. And then uh I I yeah I joined uh the shooting. That's the first time, first meeting with Donnie. And was it different working with Donnie compared to your previous working situations in Hong Kong? Of course, first day I cannot I cannot uh, feel the difference. Uh, he he shot very fast, and then I I do some some reaction. I do some reaction. Uh, use is a trampoline. At that time, at that era, we still using the trampoline and trampoline and uh hit the hit the wall, and then uh yeah some some reaction. He likes that. He said, "Oh, that's very good." And then after the first day, he called me many times. The big difference is, uh, yeah, previous. Uh, action director. I don't, of course, I don't say who, but sometimes his re request is very simple, but the product, the final product in the in the screen, is very looks very dangerous and it's very effective. I think before I did a lot of stunt, uh, before we I I met Tony in Hong Kong Hong Kong movie. Sometimes uh, I'm falling down for the. It's very dangerous. But sometimes I, I saw the final product. What's that? I cannot see. I can see. I, I, can, I cannot see the dangerousness. What he shot is very effective. And then I, it, it's like, it's like, oh, I can use this immediately. I can, I can make my show real. I, I can feel, wow, that's what I want to do. What you're saying is that Don Yen was a better filmmaker than the previous stunt men and exactly. stunt exactly. coordinators because he knew yes. how to milk a shot and really yes yes many people uh so oh he's a very good martial artist and he's very uh good actor well yeah but not only good actor he's very but also very good filmmaker that was my entire action essay about him recently yes yes and he he uh, he gave the link to us and i'm happy said, to hear that yeah and he said oh now I can feel, oh, I made a lot of movies, he said. He gave that link and then gave a lot of people, sent a lot of people. Did he, did he approve? Of course. Of course. I think so. Can you talk about working on Sha Polong and how, yes. because you started choreographing on Sha Polong. And... Um, yes, yeah, some, some of the part. But mainly, mainly, of course, Tony. He had the concept. And then we, we not choreograph, we just move around. Move along and get the get feeling. What do you what is he trying to find and what are you looking for when you when you do that? Before SPL, uh the many, many years, me and Donnie talking about the uh BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gracie, Gracie, Gracie Brothers, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Uh when we were in Berlin uh to shoot a Puma, at that time I we also try to bring to the screen, this kind of things, jujutsu or so-called MMA or ground technique, but it's very hard to express because this kind of technique and mechanism is very hard to express, except uh, we cut it shorter, this part, this part, this part, because a lot of PowerPoint, people point and some working point. So it's very, it's very hard to understand. Of course, nowadays, Many people, many people have the knowledge, knowledge how to how to how to how to watch these kind of things. But at that time, it's very uh, we think too technically, so uh, we gave up. And then, uh, two thousand three, when we shot the Hong Kong movie, it's called Twins Effect. Vampire Effect in the in the states use some technique on the ground, and many people remember the technique. Don't you think? Oh, this time maybe. Uh, we can 
emphasize these kind of things. And then uh, punch and kick is very, our slogan is back to basic. So it's very mm, simple, keep, the, keep simple, but some ground style. What do you think changed in 2003 that made it so that people knew how to watch these things now? In SPL, our knowledge is not enough. So it looks like progressing more than MMA stuff. It's like suplex. It's like brain buster. It's like this, these kind of things. But I think Donnie knows the flavor. Donnie knows how to how to express the flavor because when we when our stump stump boys do the the choreograph or do the movement, Donnie said, "Oh, it doesn't look like doesn't look like jujitsu. It doesn't look like MMA." He said, uh, "However, I don't know. I don't know too." I don't, he said, uh, "How about I don't know? I don't know jujitsu too, but I can I can express the flavor." He just stay low, stay lower to take his leg. He just modify the uh, flavor. So yeah, I, I said, oh, that's look. I I said, oh yes, it looks like <laughs> yes. So in that process, we still just seeking, seeking to the flavor. And is that the same approach? I assume with Flashpoint, with where because there's much more MMA in Flashpoint. Yes, and... we we think uh, Flashpoint is looks like. Pro, pro wrestling changed to the amateur wrestling because that was 2007. And then we know the flavor. And then many people still still think, oh, punch and kick, jump back kick, and like, like suplex. But he want to emphasize this, not the suplex. Go to the shoot in, how to express the, sh the speed of the shoot in before the suplex. You know, that's uh, like, like amateur wrestling. Take, the, take his back. It's very low. And very low stance and shoot in and then go. That's the that's a flavor, I think. And sometimes uh he when the ex emphasize the sprawl in many Hong Kong movies it looks very easy technique. But sprawl uh -huh. is he 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 thought oh sprawl is cool. Sprawl is uh, some people talk about the sprawl. Uh -huh. That that's a flavor I think. Sometimes what he thinks think he's cool. It's different from the other other normal people, I think. What do you think he's looking at? Is he looking at the pose? Is he looking at the character? I think the both. Both. Of course, that the first point is before it man. So he is very interested how the action is good and how the power, how influence the power, how the action is good. Uh, but after it man. Uh, he emphasized more actors, actors side. But first point is, yeah, every day, every day, just many trials and error. Yeah, I think in the ending fight, we we took two months, almost two months. Every day, four shot, four shot in the in the day, and sometimes zero. That's amazing. Yeah, it takes time. I think. <laughs> but that's what. That's what. Because New. That's what it takes. <laughs> yeah. That's what it takes. I mean it's so so yeah. in that in that time at that time I brought a lot of Japanese men. And then we did a lot of trials and error many times and then together. So 30 years ago, I just one Japanese guy going uh went to Hong Kong and I just feel by myself. And at that era I start to have a lot of colleagues to feel this kind of things happen. And then when we showed the Ron Kenshin, this kind of invention and this kind of uh, energy and this kind of passion makes made some effect, I think. When you did Ruin, Ruin and Kenshin, what did you bring from Hong Kong to that production? I think everything, I think. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, director Otomo-san loves our work. He has lived in LA for two years before. And then he went a lot of video show. He watched a lot of Donnie movie, Jackie Chan movie, Summer Home movie. And sometimes he, he found me. And then uh, he, he loves these kind of things. Many people said, Otomo-san, you want to you wanna shoot Dark Knight? It's like, like Batman Dark Knight right, like this. And then he said, no, 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 no. I, I just want to shoot uh, Once Upon a Time in China, in Japan. Oh, that's a very... The concept is very clear. Oh, okay, okay, we we can we can try, we can try, 
And then, of course, we try a lot of things. And he his reaction is good. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. He gave a lot of freedom for us. First test is my question to the Japanese chambara. Japanese chambara is like, bang, like this, like, bang, bang, like this, right? I cannot understand because, bang, 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 like this. Why? Why he bring the sword here to this point? Because the opponent is here. In Hong Kong, sometimes the biggest reason, the most of the reason uh, of NG and no good, uh, do, do I think, yeah, yeah uh, our text is attack in the air. Oh, no, no, no good. You beat the air. You not beat the people. That's uh, uh, many, many action, Hong Kong action director say this kind of things. And then my question is, why, why do you like this? I think this kind of thing is in, Japan shooting Chambara movies like common sense, but I think they're fake. Opponent is here. Why? Why? Why attack here? Attack here? Attack here? And then if if you attack like this, I I I, I don't have to do anything. And then their distance is I I, I also think fake because I, uh we just finished to shoot the flash point. The flash point there their distance is very 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 close. The other Hong Kong movies, because sometimes it's a weaving and ducking. Sometimes the punch is here. Many times we touch like this, right? Like we said, Jackie Chan touch like this, right? But sometimes, sometimes uh, many MMAs like like not here. Weaving within like under the under the arm, not under the under the fist. Because if if fist is if 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 hit if if hit his head is knocked down, but sometimes here un, you know under the under the arm, it doesn't doesn't make big issue. I think typical Hong Kong action movie like this, it, like this, right? But uh, in flash point like this, and I go to the go to the side. Weaving, weaving, and uh, go through, go under the, go under the arm, and and go to his side, and maybe maybe do maybe do some, you know, some hook punch. What what you're saying is that the the old school Hong Kong style of dodging punches was very inefficient, but it was very dramatic. Uh, yes. Like like, yeah. like just a, just a nick. Yeah, yeah. Like it's good. Side. It's good if you have Jackie Chan's hair. The hair goes everywhere. Yes, yes. but sometimes. Flash point, flash point is like weaving. It's not touching. So that's a uh, tiny to the to the audience, tiny difference. But to us, to me, is a big difference. In Rurouni Kenshin, I just wanna use sword, but very close. But the biggest problem is in Japan, the sword is made by wood. Still using the wooden, very thin wooden sword. So we call the props master to make some thin rubber sword. If Western sword, we can, we can use the rubber, rubber sword because they are very, very thick. But the Japanese sword is very thin and it's very, it's very hard to make rubber sword. But uh, somehow uh, we, we, can, we can make that. This kind of thing is choreograph wise, big change because uh, wooden sword, I cannot hit. So it means we, I cannot attack to the exact place, exact place where where we attack. But the rubber sword, rubber sword, even I hit the people, of course, a little bit pain, painful, but doesn't doesn't have to die. So uh, choreograph wise, it's very successfully. Uh, we, we change the whole concept of the choreography. It's very close combat cross combat by the sword. And sometimes use a rubber glove. Uh, before in, in SPL, we made a rubber arm and like, like bah, bah. Uh, do you remember first point, Donnie? In that shot, he still grabbed the, grabbed the stick like this. So I think that's not good. So we made rubber punch. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a rubber punch. So in Ron Kenshin, some Sanosuke, Sanosuke fighting, 
with this. But yeah, so, so I it's think, still on your hand, though. Yes, before before I just uh in uh come come into frame, the the arm coming to frame, but not not like this, right? Before before it's like it was like, like boom boom like this, right? But now do do like this. So I think in the long tension, our concept is coming from the hardware. Yeah, sometimes rubber sword, rubber globe, or other other wire stuff. Many different elements makes Rurouni Kenshin a little bit special. So I, I'm thinking about the movement style in Rurouni Kenshin, and also the fights are very long. It's very Hong Kong style. <laughs> I think so. And the world loved this movie. Everybody loved. Everybody loved your movies. Thank you. But what was the response like within the traditional stunt community <laughs> in Japan and the traditional uh, yeah, yeah, sword yeah. people? Yeah. Their wave fight is very light, too light. Uh, no, cannot see the Japanese sword happiness. But you know, not Japanese sword. Do you know Do you know the story? I said, do you know the story? That I cannot not Japanese sword. It's, it's different. And then, oh, uh, Japanese sword doesn't, uh, shouldn't, shouldn't use like this. No, 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 because uh, our sword, the sword we use is not, not slash, it's a hip, right? Because the, the, the sword is cannot, cannot slash, right? So Japanese sword is like slash, but uh, long case is, bah, is a hit, right? So it's different. So nonsense, I think. So I just, I just ignore. I, I told the actor, I told the actor, don't have to, don't have to do like the uh, Hong Kong movie. I will, our taste, our flavor is yeah, okay. It's like Hong Kong flavor, but you, uh, you don't have to be perfect. Like Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Summer Horn. They they takes a lot. They take a lot of time to shoot the action scene. We just have the one tenth, one tenth. The time is one tenth of them. So our our slogan is no, no, don't have to do the perfect. It's like our that's our concept after the SPL. SPL. The the concept is. Uh, choreographed and choreographed, right? Choreographed and choreographed. Not the not the choreograph like Wow Kai Long is not everything everything is uh punches punches or uh, uh two thirds and one third. Not 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 like this. Don't don't, don't have to be perfect. Sometimes uh wrong tension don't have to be perfect, but you must be your your acting acting is like real. You just really really go to kill him. But uh, choreograph and choreograph. If if no choreograph, oh, you guys just fight. It's very um, messy, I think. So the case is sometimes we use a master shot, maybe use a master shot, and then they cannot do it, do it better way. But sometimes that mistake is very real. I think sometimes they they forget, so forget the choreograph, and then and then change the free fight. That moment, oh, very real. And then after a master shot, we use a uh, pickup shot. Oh, so sometimes I, I love the imperfectness, but sometimes too many imperfectness is good, not good, not so good. So sometimes oh, oh, this is not so good. So just pick up shot, pick up just two or three movement. Then we can do it. They can do it perfect, perfectly. So many what I learned from Hong Kong is mixture. I think you're saying that the culture of stuntmen had sort of changed to the point where this style was very acceptable to them. Yes. Would you would you say that there's a similar culture change in Hong Kong with the audience? Are they accepting this kind of action more now? Uh, and why do you think that that would be the case? Almost the same time, equals equal by the rate is coming coming out. The rate and Ron Kenshi also doesn't have the perfect perfectness like Hong Kong movie. Is like more southern style. Not only in Japan, it, of course, in Indonesia, a lot of uh, different country which has Hong Kong movie influence, and then they changed by their way. I think even Chad Starsky, David Leach, or many other stunt coordinator or action director in the states, in Canada, in other country, uh, we spent the same era, same generation. Maybe one year, two years, three year delay, but many, many country, many action movie which has Hong Kong movies influence, and then they changed, they changed their way. 
That's very interesting because you're talking about the raid, Ronan Kenshin and John Wick, essentially all kind of having that, you know, John Wick is, it's dirty. There's a lot of dirtiness. There's a lot of mistakes. Yeah. There's people tripping. But, you know, I, I noticed yeah. in, when I watch like a Zatoichi movie, sometimes the movement is kind of sloppy. Yes. Is that intentional? Uh, Zatoichi, I think so. And even now, I rewatch Zatoichi. I love that kind of uh, sloppiness. If we, our target is like perfectness, like Summer Home, like Lao Kai Leon. Oh, I cannot, I cannot go go on the same ring because their yeah, their technique is too good, and then we have no way, no way to fight fight these kind of things. So we just go our way. Yeah, that's a very interesting distinction that you know Samo and Lao Gao All of their solutions to problems are very refined martial arts. Yes, and it always seemed like um, Donnie Yen's response was very tactical. And he would think long term too. He wouldn't think like, oh, if I just do this one move, I can win. He's thinking, I have a, it's like he has a, a plan. And yes. that plan might, it, it's like a river, you know, it, it moves yeah, here and chance, there. Right? Mm. But with Samuel Hung, Samuel Hung's, he's huge. So you can kind of understand why this man, if he just does one move. Yes. It's kind of like the Korean, the new Korean action star, uh, Ma Dong Sok, you know, um, Don Lee. Yes, yes. He's, he's kind of a one punch man. <laughs> yeah, so I think uh, many many American people loves them. So uh, the Ruin Kenshin is a, a one what one, one good point is because I his his sword is cannot kill the people just a hit. So we choreograph a lot of movement. If Chambala if Chambala movie is just one slash and uh, kill the people, so cannot do the longer fight. So you you kind of see Japanese action. Perhaps moving in that direction in the future, or how do you see it going? Actually, the most of the stunt coordinator in Japan now is had worked with Donnie Yen before in Flashpoint, in SPL, in uh, other other movie. Uh, they worked with Donnie as stunt stunt man, and then now uh, they become the stunt coordinator, action director. So I think, of course, some Japanese traditional movement. Still, still there, but the major, the major flavor is more or less they have the Donnie Yen influence. Of course, Jackie Chan, they they love Jackie Chan. But the point is, many many stunt coordinators they they have worked with Donnie, and then they learn how to make the action movie by Donnie Yen. So that's the point, I think. Yeah, in Japan, even even in other country now, it's very mixture. I think because like Instagram. Facebook, uh, we can we can we can watch each other and we can watch uh what's going on, what they are shooting in other countries and uh many previews and oh this time is good, oh this time is good, oh this is gonna be so so we can see everything, I think. So we have a lot of influence each other, I think. So we talked about Karada san and mm. his style is very compatible, it seems, in Hong Kong. Mm. Mm. I was just watching Hiroyuki Sonata's fight from Royal Warriors today. And he had done Ninja and the Dragons then, 1982. Yes, I love that movie. And he was very good. Then he does Royal Warriors 86, I think. Just something kind of special yes. about how he moves. So I think, uh, first of all, uh, he will adapt to the Hong Kong style. Uh, even the Ninja and the Dragons then, because uh, if you see the Shogun's as a scene, uh, his, his, his debut uh, at the star, uh, the tempo and the rhythm and the way of, way of the move is totally different. So I think he can, uh, he's very smart and he's physically is very good, was very good. So he, he can adapt, uh, so called Hong Kong style and Yun Kwai, Koli Yun's choreography. And then, uh, I, I, I don't know who, Mang Hoi, maybe Royal Royals yeah. Mang Hoi. Yeah. And yeah, I don't worry, told me, oh, he looks another was too good. Uh, yes, he said that's too good. Uh, and I think the first of all, he he adopted Hong Kong Hong Kong style. But sometimes many Hong Kong action director uh, want to keep their flavor. Sometimes uh, even the way he kick is yeah like like this punch one punch one punch. He was he was like he he just uh, imagine oh should should pull. But sometimes oh he was like boom like boom like this. 
many many stunt coordinators. It's not by vision. It's not what I'm 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 uh, yeah. imagining. But it's good good. So many people, many stunt coordinator, Hong Kong stunt coordinator, we keep this kind of uh, uniqueness. So I think he adapted Hong Kong style, and then Hong Kong stunt coordinator adapt his adapt his flavor. I thought uh, before I I went to Hong Kong, I thought oh many actors. Every actor can do the kung fu, can do the flip, can do the acrobatic stuff. Not many people do that. Do do that. That's why Hong Kong uh, shooting techniques, many uh, like powder, like wire. Uh, that's why uh, they their improvisation uh, have the have the good effect. Mm, I see. Yeah, you don't really need yeah. that stuff when you're like uh, when you're like Sonata. And you yeah. can just do it all. You don't need to hide anything. Yes, because Japanese movie Jap in in that era, Japanese Japanese action cinema is many uh not not cut the short shortcut, just do the longer shot and camera doesn't move, and after do the thirty to forty movements. I always wondered, first of all, why they never did karate movies like that. In the seventies, eighties, I mean, until I until maybe, Shiba Shinichi, I guess he was maybe the first. I think Japanese actor and Japanese uh, movie industry, many people can move, but not many people can shoot. In Hong Kong, I think the special point is yeah, many 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 people from Canton Opera or Beijing Opera can move, but the the special point is Lau Ka Leong, like Sam Hong, Chen Shu Tong, Yi Wo Pan, they can they know how to shoot. But in Japan, it's like a stage work, stage. And then sometimes they want to shoot. They want to shoot, shoot like this, but I uh, don't know how to shoot. So like as a result, they don't know how to shoot. So just like it's a hang hell and, and then don't know, don't know what, what happening. I think they're very good skill, even good skill, but we cannot, we cannot see what's happening. That style became very popular in the seventies, didn't it? It was the uh, the director the director of Battle Royale. It was his last movie, but he did all the Yakuza films. Because Yakuza film, I think that the uh, he just want to do the documentary documentary touch. I can understand, but not not suitable in actual movie. In my childhood, and I was only ten years old, eleven years old. But even me, I I, I think oh, Japanese action movie is very boring. It's very <laughs> Is a different, uh, different from the from Hong Kong movie, and now of course I, I can analyze why why like that. I discovered Chiba Shinichi maybe fifteen years ago. I saw the Street Fighter. It, it it was it was sort of shot in that traditional Chambara style. He didn't do any great fights in Hong Kong. He was doing that before, and of course after after he became becoming actor to a lot of karate. And you know some chambala technique. I'm not saying he's he's bad, but uh, not Hong Kong style. Hiroyuki Sanada at that time he's he was young and then very new, and he can he can change. He, 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 his ability can adapt everything. I think. How would you define the Hong Kong style of movement mm. as opposed to the Japanese style of movement? In Hong Kong action and Japanese action is like floor swing. Floor swing is the uh, the process. Maybe we know we know what who win and who lose, but the process process is a very important. Uh, like like wrestling, right? Uh, what kind of a uh, technique and what kind of uh, gimmick, right? So uh, maybe American uh, American movies are a little bit different. Like Indiana Jones Raiders, just one 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 gun, uh, one one shoot and bah, like like they 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 love the one strong punch. Don't have to, of course, now it's a changing, but uh, don't have to do the 30 punches because it means hero, hero, so 30 punches. Uh, it means no, no power. It's like in Jackie Chan, big role. And they, they, they told like, that, oh, Bruce Lee is good. One, one, one punch and one, and, and beat, beat them. That, that's a, 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 the basic original American way of thinking. I think. And in Japan, uh, we have a lot of, uh, we have, only one exception is a Takeshi Kitano, just a boom. And then next shot, he doesn't uh, introduce what happened, what happened in the in the middle. But it doesn't quote actual movie. So it's an exception, I think. 
Yeah, he's, he has a very interesting style um, because yeah. it, he does that with comedy too, where yeah. he'll show the beginning, he'll show the end. And then as the audience, you're allowed to figure it out and say, aha, and then the joke comes to you and it's a high reward. Yes. For paying attention. In Japan, uh, many people many people treat the action scene like as the most important is not the technique. Most most important is not the choreograph. It's a dead, like dead air. Like the air between the technique A and technique B. Like Tsubaki Sanjiro. Do you know the Tsubaki Sanjiro Kurosawa film? Two samurai stand off, stand off each other. And almost 50, 50 seconds. And finish. Anyway, many chamber movies, uh, a, a lot of time they don't fight. They, they don't fight. Just stand out each other. And then, and then stand out each other. But Hong Kong movies, and finish like that. Is there a word for that in Japanese? I, I've heard the word ma. Ma, ma. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know that. Yeah, ma, ma. Yeah, many people, many people think like that. The, the ma is very important, or, especially in chamber of film or period of film. Do you think that maybe Japanese, the, the, the language, the action language is about cause and effect and then trying to fill in, you know, A causes B and then you fill in the middle? Maybe, maybe, I think so. And even Satoichi actor, Shintaro Katsu, somebody said, of course, Katsu Shintaro is not here. Somebody said he met Bruce Lee. Because uh, Fist of Fury, Katsu Shintaro introduced that Japanese actor who belongs to his company, Katsu Production. So uh, somebody said uh, Katsu Shintaro met Bruce Lee and taught Bruce Lee the action is most important, is not technique, is a ma. I don't know. I don't know if that's a real or not. But if we we watch on that point, I think the big boss and the Fist of Fury, the reason is totally different. The big boss is ba 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 ba, like more more Hang Yin Che. Hang Yin Che is a stunt coordinator of the big boss, Hang Yin Che style. Now the Fist of Fury, after the Fist of Fury, Bruce Lee emphasized them, that code, Ma, even the, the Web of the Dragon in normal Colosseum also have this kind of atmosphere. So maybe have some influence. Do you think that the Ma, I mean, is that the moment where you're trying to? understand what the enemy is doing you're trying to understand what's happened does that come from real sword play and now it's been turned into a cinematic uh, form? yeah maybe real sword plays like this because some old people said in japanese domestic war this old people was kid and then uh go, go into the mountain and then in the mountain one soldier had the sword and one soldier had the sword and fighting and staring each other almost one hour. So so may, maybe uh, it's realistic things like this because yeah, Japanese sword is just just one hit almost die. So maybe just just don't don't look like this kind of thing. The sword is different from the Western sword and all of, uh, also Chinese sword, right? Uh, Japanese sword is very, I think, sh sharper. I think uh, really sharper. I think so. Uh, their stance is different, I think. Uh, they, you know, their stance is like fencing. When we choreograph in China, it's a, for the weapon wise, the, the biggest difference is uh, stance because Japanese stance is like fencing. So if you use a, if you use a light sand, light side, so like, like fencing, so just one step and one hit. But Chinese sword is different. Pow, pow, like when you do the right side and then at that time, many Main time is left leg. Left leg is uh, uh, in front. So uh, the stance one is more short range. And Japanese sword is more, you know, like, like fencing. Is is this stance one is more uh, wider range. Yeah, I read this uh, an archaeology book about how when they first made swords out of bronze, what would happen is as you sharpen it over time, the sword would get thinner and thinner and thinner. And then you'd have basically a rapier. And then that became a poking style. Ah. And the tendency actually was to make swords very sharp, like a, like a poke. 
and these poking styles, the thing about a poking style, um, which is fencing, which is also Chinese, the Tai Chi sword, right? Mm. But the thing is when you're in the middle of battle, you don't really think about poking. You just start, <laughs> you just start yeah. doing that. So, uh, you know, in Lirong Kenshu, one, one character using the, using a jumping and poking, uh, that's the, uh, we exaggerate, we exaggerate, we exaggerate a little bit, but his, in his area, we, in reality is you using a sword like this, right? But their sword is like this. So if miss the poking immediately, immediately mm. slash like this. So their, their, uh, way of fighting is like this. So we just emphasize just jumping and poking the more mm. cinematic and more manga, manga feeling. I love talking about this because I, I, I you know, Japanese action cinema, it's sort of this very um, mysterious, mysterious thing. It is because no, there, there are no documentaries about Japan Action Club. There's n there's nothing about Karada, um, Karada's Action Club. We don't know anything about that stuff. But those things are incredibly important because Karada, you know, he, basically the lineage would be something like Hong Kong to Karata-san to Alpha Stunts. Power yes. Rangers, yeah, Americans. Robert. I mean, it's a, it's a very important lineage, and we just don't really know it. And so, he also adopted Hong Kong style, but yeah, his uh, working style is adopting adopting the Hong Kong style. But his style, his karate style, is he keep his style, and also Hong Kong action director wanna keep his style because Lao Galeon, Lao Galeon also asked, "Oh, karate son, what kind of karate technique you have? Oh, good, this, this is good, and we change a little bit." So many people, many Hong Kong action directors like like Lao Gai Yong, Chen Xiu Dong, Sam Hong also ask him what kind of speciality. And then give some credit for Hong Kong some coordinator, Hong Kong action directors. They are very good at using their speciality to you know adapt to the screen. The flavor. Yeah, flavor. Yeah. So yeah, Krata, Krata. Uh, told me before, yeah, if, if if I use this like like this like this is very very weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he does have the crab style, right? Yeah, crab style. <laughs> crab style is. Uh, he said in Kalates Kata, uh, he introduced this kind of things, and the Lao Kalong is changed, changed in his way. Do you know who Junior Tagagi is? It's very Japan action crab style. Yeah, of course, he he's come come from, comes from karate. And then uh, some acrobatic style by Japan Action Club. So it's very, maybe, maybe the way of shooting. The way of shooting is very wide shot and camera doesn't move. And it's very, very typical Japan cinema and Japan Action Club style, I think. Yeah, he, he, it's funny because he does a lot of um, what looks like Jeet Kune Do in it. He will express uh, something like the way of the dragon, Chuck mm. Norris, uh, Bruce Lee versus Chuck Norris, or some uh wheels on wheels uh Jackie Chan versus Jet Benny the Jet. I think choreograph wise it's a little bit similar, but the uh, cinematic wise, cinema wise is different. I think eighties, nineties in Japan, uh, to the stunt man is really no future. Uh, you asked me before if I if I tell if you give some suggestion to the Japanese stunt man at that time. I just say, oh, go outside, go outside, don't stay here. I hope that, you know, people like yourself and other um, action directors can bring in a new kind of action visual language mm. because there are still some, there's this new one that came out called Hydra. Oh, Hydra. Yes, yes, Salamura, Salamura. Yes. He's also from the Krata Action School. He just used uh, five days. Five days? Yes. For the movie? Yes, of course. Of course, one day is not uh, nine hours, 12 hours, maybe 18 hours. But in Japanese, you know, baby, baby assassins. Also, Sonomura did yeah. the action director, six days for whole movie. Why so, why so quick? No money? No budget. But, you know, in Japan, uh, there are a lot of talented people like uh, uh, actual director, stunt people, or you know, some actor and actress. But, uh, you know, this kind of genre has no budget. 
Mm. So six days, six days, but they want to try their best. Yeah. And then good result. Oh, six days is good. Okay, we do the part two, or maybe this time five days, <laughs> like this. So very, very bad circulation, I think. You know, do you remember Rulon Kenshin, part three, the ending fight? Ending fight, uh, we have eight days. Mm. But eight days, eight days. Uh, because crush point of the two months and the long Kenshin is just had the eight days. Long Kenshin is that we can say that the highest the highest budget for the Japanese movie, but still, still, you know, for the action scene, a director, our director is very supportive, but even like that, still eight eight days. Yeah. And then the newest Ron Kenshin is a Ron Kenshin is a final. You can see that you can see this in in uh, maybe Netflix. Five days for the last fight, including mm. the drama. I did an Indian movie called Man Who Feels No Pain. I action directed it, and we were taking Indian actors who were physical. They were not martial artists, but we designed an action style for them that they could do and shoot it very Hong Kong style, kind of like Isaac Florentine would do, you know, and. Do we have a month for the end fight? You just can't get that kind of time in America. Um, and it seems like in Japan too, you just can't get the amount of time that you really need to get what you need. Yes. So yeah, even American movie now is a, the time, the time was is decreasing. So the Ron, even Ron Kenshin has a very tough, I think. So what's next for you? This year, I just finished the How to Walk In. That actually, is, I think, is, is very cool. Very Hong Kong style and Donnie style and Japanese style is very mixture, I think. My my plan is to do a breakdown on Samo as well, an action essay on Samo. Um, I think probably as a filmmaker and the way that he the way that he builds a story for a fight. Even Jackie Chan shoot the Samo Home movie is more his techniques more precise. Uh Jackie Chan, pop, 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 like, like, like 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 this, right? Yeah. Some of bam, 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 more, more, more precise, precise movement. Krata, Krata sensei told me, Kori Yu and Samoho, their, their style is very similar. Every shot is very short, short, yeah. short, short, short. So actors wise, it's very hard to do because very hard to keep the tension. If we do like master shot or like Jackie Chan, uh, maybe 10 or 15 movement in, all together, the, the breathing, the breathing is very natural, you know, but maybe three movement, four movement for each shot. Maybe already, uh, already actual, <gasps> actual, when, when you move, you breathe, you breathe and bang, 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 bang. And then next shot is <gasps> also that the breathe. So she said, breathe, uh, the adjusting the breathing is very hard and very hard to hard concentrate. It's interesting that the way that Koreans shoot action scenes is that the editing will be very fast but they will still shoot it as long takes like yes. almost covered almost coverage style I, th and... I think uh but uh Ron Kenji is also also this style you did it like that too yes uh of course the first reason we don't have much time uh the second reason is actors condition is more natural our target is choreographed and choreographed so sometimes they, they didn't do that perfect is also also fine mm -hmm. And then after the coverage, after the master shot, uh, we have a lot of pickup shot. Is that how Donnie shoots action? No, the long takes and then goes in for no, close-ups. No, no. He, he's like Samo. I think the, the the middle, but in his in his shot, he still is very short. He doesn't give me more one more frame, two more frames. Yeah. He just give me the edit point. <laughs> So sometimes I uh, when I edit, oh, I just need more, and then he oh, oh, he he already already stopped the acting. Oh, so he gave me the edit point. He's dictating the edit by acting. Yeah, because he has a lot of bad memory when he shoot the American film. Do you remember the Blade Two? Do you know why 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 he shoot the triple kick, jumping triple kick in the air? Because he doesn't know how they edit, he he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna uh, make his action very choppy, right? So he choose why he choose the triple kick because he think oh when they do the triple kick, 
how editor is bad, he wouldn't he wouldn't separate the two shop. But as a result, he separated the two shop. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> the rule of the game is different, different from the Asian Asian rule. So I think it's it's fine. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I when I shoot the snake eyes, it's the same, same. I think if people ask me, do you really understand the American flavor? I said no. Um, there's a lot of politics in American filmmaking uh, with different departments fighting each other, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. the DP and the director, it's like it's like a very hostile marriage. Many times DP, cameraman is their first shot. First shot, first take is their last rehearsal. You know? Yeah. So, uh, because we know we know what we are we are, we are doing and we know what's going on and then our first thing after first oh now i know oh okay okay like this like this so uh get the cameraman cameraman that doesn't know uh if 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 we go uh give, give some previews uh they don't they don't watch no they don't watch it they won't have yeah. anything to do with it <laughs> yeah. did they use your previews in snake eyes did they did they actually use your previews as a reference for shooting the fights yeah but uh, some editing wise, uh, some something happened. I I edited by myself and I gave to the Paramount, but I I didn't say uh following one hundred percent following previous is good thing because sometimes our studio our studio is perfect ground and where our location is not that good and then some some previous uh the, some people some double could some people do that do the things so if if we take previous just follow one hundred percent. As a result, it just get the seventy percent, right? Because no costume and yeah. very good, very good uh condition. Yeah. So sometimes uh we we must change, we yeah. must change. But if no preparation, no good previous, uh we cannot change anything. But in my case, in Snake Eyes, a Canadian stunt man, they are very professional. But in Japan, in Asia, our stunt team do everything. Hmm. Some something uh sometimes they do the some special effect stuff like 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 powder like mm -hmm. atmosphere like uh as it, uh, they work like the assistant director in asia we do everything and then uh sometimes our ad or our props master uh helps us yeah. but in america like in american style uh they don't allow us or uh, maybe uh okay uh you uh, some people just just uh take a rest actually actually as in american man their acting is very good because they are acting like actor many times many times we talk talk with donnie about these kind of things because chinese some men they are very good physical but mm -hmm. they are they are acting like some men so i think uh sometimes they are uh, we are we are using stunt double for some actor but their their skill is good but doesn't look like actor yeah we uh we're told to do that and a lot of really tr traditional stunts was um as a as a as a stunt man in a western you might deliver a line or two also mm -hmm. you know you might mm -hmm. actually have an acting part and then yeah. you're expected to get shot and fall off the building and then they'll, the camera will look at you and we'll see that yeah. you're you're still that guy don't worry, don't worry, told me before because in China, uh, the first thing, so first thing I he must do is a uh, revise, revise their bad habit. Yeah, uh, normal people doesn't doesn't do this kind of reaction. Yeah, I mean when when I watch actors, I I get a little bit jealous sometimes because when I see an actor take a punch, or even when they throw a punch, like when Harrison Ford throws a punch, there's something very unrefined and untrained about it that I now envy. Sometimes uh, American film, American action is very straightforward. But sometimes Chinese action, Hong Kong, so called Hong Kong action, I always say, uh, don't don't do the extra movement. Somehow uh, I say, ah, you need the do shall don't you? Like the same same meeting. So sometimes their movement is very not punch and punch, just punch, kick, just kick. Uh, after the punch, like bang, and punch like this, uh, especially you open, is very. Uh, mechanic don't use the uh, word for mechanic powerpoint pivot mm -hmm. point and working point like i remember 
when we shoot the Fist of Legend, uh, he choreographed like that. One punch like this. And gently pong the pali. Gently pong like this. And then this guy hit by himself. Boom. And pong. And Japanese pong. So if this kind of thing is very Hong Kong, I think. Because if normal martial artists cannot choreograph this kind of things, it's like, it's very Hong Kong style. This kind of thing is the kids. It's very easy to imitate. Very, very, very signature. Do you remember one uh, very kind of kind technique? Pong. And then this guy, this guy, when I, when I try, try to grab this, pang and pang, 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 oh, yeah. like, like yeah. this. This kind of thing is very kung fu, but sometimes, uh, do you know SPL? SPL. Yeah, yeah. he did yeah. the knife, yeah. The knife, the knife. And then Captain America. Uh, maybe Captain America coming from the SPL, but SPL coming from European. So I'm very excited to talk to, talk to you about Sakura. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like you share action credits with uh, Yan Hua. This time, I didn't bring any Japanese stunt. Just the, I'm, I, I, I led the, all the Chinese stunt people. But chi that Chinese stunt people is introduced by Yang Hua. Yang, he's, he's, they are the team of the Yang Hua. So, of course, our team of Yang Hua is almost equal to the team of Donnie Yen. Sometimes Yang Hua, Yang Hua asks me, oh, what do you need? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I talk just one one tenth one tenth of my my soul, and the young fire is organized. Help help me to organize everything. So where where was this shot? Hanbian, China. Hanbian, China is uh, you know the the major major shooting place, especially Wuxia, especially is a period film. So in Hanbian, it's very very uh, very special because. 40, 30 to 40 different movie movie crew is working working there. So it's a very big city for movie. Also, oh, it's almost like an entire city for doing period films. Yeah, for uh, other things, no other things, just for the movie. What was your goal with the action in Sakura? First of all, I I try to understand Usha, what is Usha, because I have never, never shot this kind of film because Usha, the dragon, Usha Aka dragon, you, you know, actually not Usha movie. It's a Kung Fu movie. It's a typical Kung Fu movie, right? It's not Usha movie. Usha movie is flying away and some, some Qi Gong, right? Of course, this kind of element is very important in Usha novels and uh, Sakura is coming from the very famous Usha novel. So more or less, we must express these kind of things because, because the uh, original novel is like that. Of course, Donnie and me doesn't, not big fan of this kind of flying, flying, flying away and, you know, some, some beam and some qigong. Um, so uh, I, must, I must find some reasonable way because if we, Donnie, Donnie's movie, if just a shoot and fly and fly away blah, 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 and show show his face is I think very uh, audience is very disappointed. But on the other hand, it's just just like very straight kung fu move. It's not it's not called usha. So uh, we try to find the balance. Yeah. So that the create create some something new in usha. Jangla is, yeah, I, I can say it's it it was our goal. So when you watch Wuxia, and I think I share the same sentiments that you do, which is that I I like I like I like my characters to conform to physics. What were you guys looking at for inspiration on how to make a more grounded? It's almost like a more grounded Wuxia film. Yeah, if you can feel these kind of things, I think it 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 was success successful. Since this is a historical piece, um, did you do any historical research into weapons, how people moved? I read the novel again, 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 especially the Chao Fong. Chao Fong, uh, Chao Fong is the Donnie's role, Chao Fong's part, because that, that uh, Tin Long Papu, Tin Long Papu, this novel, very long, very long. I don't, it's very long story. And then three main characters, so it's it's 
impossible to express uh, all the element. So just this time, just talk about the child phone, this part. So we just read and read. And this story is made by other, other filmmaker many times. So just rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. And I can feel, ah, I know, I know how to how to make the other style. In Chinese Wuxia world, is everybody everybody can fry, right? But everybody can fry. Everybody, if if everybody can fry, so I think uh sometimes mm, the most important thing is uh why they can fly. Sometimes, you know, uh the uh the head and then uh, fry fry higher. If papa pa, fry higher, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. When I shoot the modern modern action film or uh when I shoot the period action film, I think it's the same, same thing. And even uh when I shot Ronnie Kenshin, I didn't think oh this is a period film. I just I just make it like make it like a modern film. What did your cooperation look like with Donnie? Yeah, Donnie, Donnie gave me a lot of freedom. Yeah, you, you can you, you make it, you make as, as I like. First of all, I made choreography, made choreography with my Chinese team. And then we make uh, the first action scene, first part of that movie. I made previous. After uh, that previous, after Donnie okay and the director okay, I go to set. And then something, uh, if something different, I, I tune up. Uh, where to happen, and then I, I talked with the uh, props department, art department, or maybe we need to add this kind of thing, this kind of things. Yeah, of of course, uh, I make previous, but on the same, on the other hand, I don't like just follow the previous. And then uh, of course, uh, Mister Yang coming, he gave a lot of comment to me, and then I tune up again. And sometimes uh, after after I shot some stunt maybe we change we change a little bit and then i edit the scene and editor edit the scene and donnie also edit the scene so we mix up wow okay so the the final edit that we see uh has had your approval and donnie Yen's approval is that correct yeah yeah so i think because uh before before i start the preparation I talk with Donny a lot of things, and Donny put some idea, put many idea to me. So very on the same page, I think. And every day, Donny send a lot of new footage. Hey, can you look this? Look this. Yeah, that's good. It's it's even a TikTok or YouTube or some some footage. Oh, that's good. Uh, can we use that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I I. I, I try to I try to put these things. He's a director, and at the same time, he's an actor. And many times they are coming to the set and feel something new. And then, uh, yeah, let's change it. So I think it's it's uh, useful. Why so much destruction, Kenji? <laughs> There's so much destruction in this movie. I, I think uh, we, I have two reasons. Uh, one, one reason is we must express the power. You know, in Hong Kong, uh, every stunt coordinator, action director, even their style is so much different. But they are, they always said, oh, we need the power, no power, power, just a power. So maybe one of the way of expression, the power is destruction. And then at the same time, I think it's a, that's the main reason. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, fight in the space just beautiful, the just for the action. Okay, short time, just just do the choreography. It's very un, un, unnatural. It's like like a room is a bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf. It's very very perfect naturalness, right? But at the same time, uh, do the choreography is very inconvenient. So my way is okay. I respect a research props master. I respect the art department because because uh, of course as a as a movie fan, I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, when I watch a, watch a movie, oh, this is just for the just for the uh, their the convenience. I don't want. So we do the choreography, and at the same time, destroy something and put away and put and make make some pass to do the choreography. So I think that's the main reason. I I also I don't I don't want to destroy many things, but sometimes 
sometimes because of the naturalness, because of because of the yeah, uh, this kind of reason, I I make some destruction. These are very big sets that you're destroying. You must have a lot of input as to how the props are made. Is that correct? Yeah. Just okay. Uh, have the book. Have the bookshelf. Okay. Uh, destroy. How many ways to destroy? Just this way, or this way, or like this way. So I, maybe, maybe uh, today I I like okay bookshelf. Bah, 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 bah. Boom. Okay. Top shop. Boom. Maybe, maybe this this kind of thing. So so it's just for the. It depends. You do a lot of prop work. You know, somebody will grab something, throw it to somebody else, and he'll use that to throw it. Somebody throws a spear at a wall, and they go back and they grab the spear. What is the inspiration for the the very intricate prop usage and the weapon usage? It's very natural because on the gym, I we made uh, some choreography, and then the most important thing is uh, put this choreography on the right spot. My habit to making action scenes is okay. Have the set. We go. Run, go around okay start start from here jumping to the bottom and jumping again and then go go so just go one round it's very unconsciousness but my habit is is also Donnie's habit if we rewatch uh Ron Kenshi or Raging Fire uh, it's also also we use holy set of the structure so I uh, and then uh and, and then uh, the most important thing is uh, Chao Huang, Donnie's character, doesn't want to beat him, right? So I, so I think uh, just see he chase and Donnie just uh, not not run away, but just avoid, avoid, avoid these these kind of things. And then we put some fancy wire stuff and fancy movement. How much of the storytelling in the fight scene did you come up with versus being derived from the original? manga or from the original uh, from the source material actually i just follow i just follow a script and then i put some idea how did you do the multi-angle wire work you going up and then back i i don't know why but we did we we did that <laughs> so sometimes that the there's a i said strongness of the chinese action team because sometimes in japan they are good too but sometimes they are too smart, too smart. So, you know, uh, when I say, oh, I need this kind of thing, this kind of, I need this kind of thing, right, 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 like this. And then they said, oh, that's impossible. You, I know, I know impossible, but you, you you try, right? So, because of course I know, I know how, how to set the wire because, but sometimes as a creator, as a creator, not the, I'm not the wire, wire rigging coordinator. So I just, I just give some uh, difficult part to them. And then uh, they, they say, oh, that's, you know, it's very, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's impossible. But you, if you try, you can, you, can, you can make something different, but something new and something better, right? On this point of view, Chinese stunt teams just say, okay, okay, we try, right? So <laughs> just, just they try. And sometimes uh, they can make something new or um, they can make some miracles. We didn't use this angle. Donnie's order is, I need, I need some flying stuff, but not typical Usha. I, yeah, I try, I try. So I just, I just making, at the first process, I just, re, I just re, uh, imagine how the camera move how we make the camera movement is more fancy. So we try whole night, whole night. And then next day, we sh uh, when we shot that shot, I think I love this angle bigger. Just, just a one, one wire, not, not the one wire, this one, this point, this point, many, many people is like, like puppet. No, just, just uh, rely his skill. And sometimes wire stuff is, I I love the wire setting. It's simple. We don't finish that shot. Wow, we are so happy. Donian's character is very kind of playful in his fights, at least the first fight. I mean, did his character influence the choreography? And how do you tell that story with, to fit that character? 
it's not the case of Donnie and Prince Ip Man. Donnie is also first time to play that role. So he's thinking a lot of different way. And every time, every time uh, he tell he, he told me, oh, but the the big tips is first first fight. He doesn't want to kill the people, just a gentleman fight. He, he respect him. And then uh, even even the opponent ch chase him. And he also he also doesn't kill, just just beat. I think, oh, I can I can make some funny moment or some fancy moment, more fancy. So that's why he, he adds some phrase, like like you, you know, some some very right moment to the middle part. Don't you fight with the uh, yeah on the table 50, 100 people. At that time he told me, oh, that's the feast of fury. Well, I just want to kill everyone. Okay, okay, that's the that's a very obvious difference. Do you find that having a restriction about how a character should be helps you design action versus if you are asked to design something without knowing what the character is? Of course, I'm Japanese. I'm not Chinese. So I'm not sure what kind of character this role is. Maybe Chinese people is uh, uh, from their childhood. They always watching this kind of same drama. So, oh, Chao Fong should be like this. Oh, this one like, like this. But maybe my point of view is different. So I just uh, analyze from the script and analyze from Donnie's comment. Because uh, actually he's a star and he's a director and he's a producer. So every time, every time, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what the direction is. I just ask him and he, he gets the tips. Of course, these tips, maybe today is right. And tomorrow is wrong. So, so I think after after shooting this, and Donnie said, "Oh, maybe maybe we can we can try this way." Okay, we just try this kind of things in, in American production. I think uh, I I cannot do this kind of way. Yeah, of course, every production, every production, of every country has a good point, a bad point. But uh, Chinese production uh, is very flexible. Uh, I I I should say maybe Donnie's production, Donnie's production, <laughs> it should be very productive and very uh, uh, flexible. Now in that middle fight, uh, like you said, it's kind of a Fist of Fury style fight. Uh, things get violent there, surprisingly. You know, yes. arms are getting cut off and there's blood splattering on the walls. Yes. When you're designing violence for a Chinese audience, and it's a global audience, I understand. It's for a Chinese film though. Do you think about violence differently doing a Chinese film versus doing a Japanese film like Rurouni Kenshin? Actually, I'm not a big fan of the. Okay, violence is okay, but not splatter, is not not gore. Actually, that violence expression is Tony. Tony said, "Oh, we really need this. We need this because I'm so angry at 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 the, at the scene, right? So, oh, okay, okay. Oh, you you need a you need a violence. Okay. So so I I just I just follow follow his order, but I think now I think oh that's right. That's right, because no, no violence. Uh, maybe everything's soft, and Usha is very easy to go softer way. It's like you know, a very unorganic way. So I think he he made the right decision. Luron Kenshi is different. Luron Kenshi is very more entertainment because from manga. But maybe we can see the you can see the difference of the Luron Kenshi in the final and the beginning. Because the beginning is there, uh, Kenshin is using real sword, right? So real sword, but uh, Ron Kenshin one two three and the final, they are using the river sword. So the difference of choreography is hitting between hitting and slicing, right? So it's totally different. There are some huge wire gags with like five people, ten people sometimes. What is the setup yes. time on that? And how long is it going to take you to do that shot? Actually, very fast. Very fast. Because Chinese stunt team is used to do these kind of things. So it's very fast. Uh, because they are used to these kind of things. So if I not look carefully, it's, it looks like, oh, that wire is, looks like same as other Chinese TV drama. So I, I, I don't... I don't want to do this kind of thing. So, okay, 
uh, their settings okay, and I made some changes. I told the wire rigging coordinator, okay, uh, after three shot, I need this kind of wire. And then after three shot, they almost uh, they can show the rehearse to me. There's a um, it's an added emphasis on kind of superpowers in this one. In the finale, there's you know in the middle fight too. There's the there's the pushes and then there's the vacuum. He pulls people up and then pushes them back down. Yes. Is this a is this a kind of action style that you want to play more with in your future films? Yes, because this time is Usha. But I, um, what can I say? Because I, Hong Long Sabajong is the Chao Hun's trademark. So everybody in China, everybody have the excitement. Oh, how how they. Uh, express Hong Kong Sapacho. But, you know, sometimes manga is, uh, Kenshin is also, is, is the same. Manga is, uh, uh, that name is very, very exaggerated. But sometimes Kenshin's whole you said, drum, it's like, it's like jumping high and, and hit the, hit the head. But their name is very exaggerated. Oh, how, how we design Hong Kong Sapacho. But we must, change a little bit. So I, I need some, it's called Kap Hei Kong. Kap Hei Kong is like this poem. And then uh, pull this guy and go. It, it's, it's a little bit more fancy. What was the biggest challenge for you on this film? Yes, because I have never shot this kind of Usha stuff. Yeah. But Donnie, Donnie give, gave me a lot of, you know, because he said, oh, because people, Chinese people love your Ruan Kenshin. So Ruan Kenshin action director goes to uh, goes to shoot the Usha, maybe something new. And if you if you made some mistake, okay, I can I can I can I can help you. Okay. So the that's the very big freedom to me. What was it like working with uh Kara Hoi and uh Choi Siu Ming? Choi Siu Ming, uh, age 70, he still moved because last year, last year China is you know, COVID situation is very strict. So he just shooting for that four or five days shooting. He made a 14 days quarantine. It's hard. Yeah. But his attitude, yeah, he's, he's very professional. professional. Kara Ho is last time we, uh, we cooperated in Usha 2010. So yeah, so I, you know, I, we, love, we love her and she loves to work with us. And then she said, oh, this time no action. This time no action. But at the end of the day, he, she also, she also, yeah, move a lot. The three main action scenes, do you know how long in total for just the shooting? The beginning, the beginning is I, I spent uh, almost six days, seven days. And the middle fight, middle fight is first, uh, 14 days, yeah, 15 days. Ending fight, wow, that's so long, so long. Because that wire and the and the shot is very long and very big. So sometimes we need a four four different claim. So wow, that's almost one month. Almost one month. Because I remember on the day 21, on the ending scene, day 21. Oh, uh, today's Donnie said. Oh, today's the twenty, uh, day twenty one for the ending scene. Uh, I remember uh, was my time in uh, time, uh, time in China. Uh, the fight between me and Jet Li also also spent the twenty one, and now we over the twenty one. So it would be better. Wow, twenty one days for the uh, Jet Li fight. Once upon a time in China too with Donnie. Yeah, right? uh, that's what he said. I'm surprised at how fast you shot that opening scene in six days. That's that's quick. Because every time, every time our fast action scenes are more perfect than other scenes because we know we know first action scene that like this. So we prepare more. And other scene, even we want to prepare, but the set construct set construction is not yet, or other yeah, other reason. So yeah, uh, always, always fast action scene is fast. And then the ending scene is not only the action, but uh, some drama. What has the response been to the action? I, uh, yes, good. It's good. When Donnie shoot this kind of usha, people take it for granted. Oh, maybe 
maybe another Usha or maybe even go to the Usha Wild. But this time, of course, uh, some good point, some bad point. But I think we create some past, something new. Yeah. So I think next time, if we shoot this kind of genre, we have a lot of ideas because, you know, every time uh, if we have the 100, 100 ideas, but maybe we just use the 20 or 30. What do you think the Japan action industry needs right now? Uh, money. <laughs> Good producer. Good producer. Because sometimes uh, I think it's very unfair. Flashpoint, we we spent almost two months for the ending shot, ending ending that that landscape. And Luron Kenshin, the final, uh Makenyu coming to the coming to the house and uh Kenshin uh fight with Makenyu uh NEC five days. Should this kind of things, I think at least we need two weeks. We just rely on the Japanese stand. Some people is very fast and uh, their effort, and they they want to they want to make the things better. So just five days, but people people cannot take it for granted. Yeah, maybe they need to slow down and not be so efficient, and then you could get yeah, two weeks. Because uh, Rurun Kenshin part three, the legend ends. It takes eight days. So when we when we shoot the final, just five days. So yeah, you you're right. Maybe we must slow down. You spend a lot of time overseas. You spend a lot of time in China yeah. doing these big films. What advice do you have to uh, to stay healthy, to maintain sanity, to uh, to remain happy, whatever it is, while you're doing these long jobs overseas? What would you recommend? Recommend because shooting shooting film is very unhealthy things. So, <laughs> but. Uh, you know unhealthy things but after after the whole whole movie is coming up it's you know it's very exciting and it's very make make me healthy so the process is very unhealthy but you know uh, if some something coming is maybe yeah make make me more healthy it's like you open you open is age age 76 or 77 but if he doesn't shoot a movie now, he's more, I, I I believe he's more getting older. So many, many people, many people is, yeah, once they're on the set, wow, just just healthy, uh, healthy on the heart. What would you recommend for maintaining your physical health while in China? Food, in China, a lot of good food, but good food almost equals unhealthy. So you must, you know, in in China on the set, even with a big movie, they don't have the for the vegetarian food, this this kind of things. So I think, yeah, you must take care of your food. Thank you for taking time uh, to talk to me and to tell us about your your, your awesome experiences and your abilities. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.